Hey guys, welcome back to my training. My name is Ajayi Adebayo, and in today's training, I'm going to be teaching you how hackers create passful login page to collect users of passful email and password get to send to their email email address, right? So uh, they deceive you to show you uh, um, a fake passful page, a uh, login page, and then um, you know you enter your login details as if you're logging to passful and your details are being collected by these guys and sent to their email you know that passful is one of the biggest crypto uh, money transfer platform in the world and a lot of people all over the world use passful to do their daily transactions a lot of people even use passful to save their phones they have a lot of money in their passful account and when hackers can get access to your passful account a lot of uh, damage can be done to your passful account so it's a very uh, very very um popular uh money transfer cryptocurrency uh website as far as the world is concerned so as you can see from my screen this is a fake passful page right and this is the original passful page this is the original passful page, uh, page and this is the fake in passful page right so you can see that you can hardly differentiate these things right you can hardly differentiate it so i'm going to teach you teach you to introduce lesson how you can create um, this kind of website and of course you know for um, these guys to get access to this um, kind of uh, information from you they either send you a mail uh, or sms or uh, send you a message to your social media channel telling you that your passport account has been credited with a particular sum of money and that you should click on this link to immediately log into your passport account to access it and transfer these funds immediately you know and all of that with all of um, the tactics that you use right so like i said this is a fake passport and this is a real passport right so i'm going to be teaching you in today's lesson how you can um actually create this kind of website so like i would always say if you want to create this kind of website you need a domain name and hosting right you need a domain name and hosting and um, i like um, name cheap a lot i name i like name cheap a lot and also um, um uh, um, yes, I like Nameship a lot, right? So, um, people can just go online and buy domain names so that parks you, you get it, you got it, you see where I put that domain name, parksfully, so they can tweak that domain name to, you know, deceive uh, these registrars not to understand uh, what they're actually using this domain name for. So, as you can see, this is already available and they can add this to cart and then um, uh, when that is added to cart they can go to hosting and click on share those things and um, they can purchase this right they can purchase this hosting account click here to purchase this hosting account so immediately they do that they will be giving a username and password right they'll be giving a username and password to log in to their cpanel just like as you can see here i'm already logged in to uh, one of my cpanel so when you log into your when they give you a, um, a login to log into your cpanel when you log into your cpanel you're going to be taken to an area like this right so when you're taking to an area like this the next thing you have to do if you want to design this kind of website is to go to file yeah, so I'll just search for files. So this is file. Then I'll go to my file manager, right? I'll go to my file manager. Let me just remove this. So I'll go to my file manager. So on my file manager, I'll come to um, public underscore HTML. Now, public underscore HTML is that place where you can actually have all your website, you know, uh, files on, right? So this is my public underscore HTML, right? So, but for these guys, or if you are doing it for, as a project, or uh, for um, if you are doing it as a project, uh, if you come to the public underscore HTML, uh, you have to just click on upload and upload these files right into the public underscore HTML. But for the purpose of tutorial, I'm going to be create uh, creating a folder, and I'm going to call it Paxfu. So I'm going to call this Paxfu. Right, so I'm gonna call it Paxfu. I'm gonna click on create. So I'm gonna uh, I, I call it uh, Paxfu, right? So I'm gonna look for that folder. So this is the folder Paxfu. So uh, I'm going to uh, let me just delete this file right here. So uh, where is the folder? So this is my folder called Paxfu. So I'm gonna double click on this to open this folder, up, and I'm gonna upload this uh, particular file, right? I'm gonna upload this. A particular file if you need this particular file you need to chat me on whatsapp uh so i've just uploaded this particular file it's a simple programming file you know for you to create a kind of website so if you need this particular file you can just chat me on whatsapp 
please, I want to make a disclaimer. I am not um, in any way connected to how you use this information or you use this site. All these videos I'm doing for you, I'm doing it for the purpose of educating you, for the purpose of teaching you cyber security training, for the purpose of opening your eyes. So any use of this, whether legally or illegally, has no connection with me. I am not connected to it and I am not responsible for it. So this is the file that you are going to be getting from me. If you contact me, I'm going to give you access to this file. So, uh, so I'm going to click on extract, then I'll click on extract files. And I'll click on close. So the files will automatically be extracted to my folder. So let me just right click this and, and delete this. So I'll just delete this because I don't need that anymore. Right? So this is um, the, 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 what I just uh, uploaded. So, and you see the, 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 the folder name is Paxful, right? The folder name is Paxful. So I'll just go to my domain. Let me go to my domain. This is my domain. Can you see that? That's my domain. And um, if I put slash Paxful, right? So if you are doing this on a, a fresh domain, you don't need to put the slash, you don't need to create a folder. You just upload to your public underscore HTML directly. But I put this in a folder. So let's just see. I just press enter and see. Wow, awesome. Can you see that? Can you see that? So you see that in less than five minutes, this has been created with this particular file. Like I said, if you need access to this file, you can chat me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number will be on this particular video. You can just send me a message on WhatsApp and then um, uh, I'll give you an access how you can get this file, right? I'll tell you how you'll be able to get this uh, access to this file, right? So you can see that now, you can see the login, username and password area to login. And this is the original password. Can you see that? And this is the one I just created right now. Can you see that there's no difference? So now let's configure this. When people fill this form, enter their email and enter their password, where do you want this information to be sent to, right? So you want this information that when they enter it, you get to collect this information, right? So uh, let's just go right here. So you just go to the index.php file. Uh, you just right click on it, then you click on edit, right? Click on, you right click on it, then you click on edit, right? So you come to uh, this email, you're going to see something like this here. You're going to see an email here. So whatever email that is here, just change that email and put your own. So I'm going to put this email, right? I'm going to put this email, then um, I'm going to put my domain. So you have to create a webmail, right? You have to create a webmail. So uh, for this, my domain name is, um, uh, um, so you're going to create a domain name, um, an email. So my email is um, this, so admin at, right? So you're just going to go to your email account, go to email from your cPanel, email, then you click on email account, right? So um, you're going to create an email, right? You're going to create an email. So you click on create right here. So you create an email, right? So you put the email right here. So admin, then you generate the password, then you come and create, click on create. I've already created this particular email, so I'm not going to be creating the admin at home, solution tutor.com, right? So, and I wonder when this information is filled, it should send to this particular email. And when it's coming, it should come like this, right? So, I can say, Is it that password login? So let me just copy this. I need to input it one more time to um, this. You see that? So that's what you just um, need to do right here, right? That's what all you need to do um, um, right here, right? So I just need to click on save changes and that uh, changes have been made, right? So let's go back right here. Let's just refresh this and let us test and see. So when I come here and say, I want to enter my password. So let's say this is my email. Say this is my email to password. So that's my email. The password I want to enter is temptation is Bad at you one two three right temptation is bad at you one two three right so immediately I do that I just click on login so you're gonna see that this is going to load as if you are trying to log in for pass through and it will load and stop as if the login did not uh, go right so uh, you may be trying to try to log in again and try to log in again 
your information has already been taken. That information has already been sent, you know, to the hacker's account, to the hacker's Gmail. And, you know, before you try to uh, be manipulating, and manipulating it, you know, your information has already been sent to them and they can use this to get access to your passport account. So let's quickly check that email if what we did actually worked, right? So let's quickly check that uh, Gmail. So can you see that? Can you see that password login details? Can you see that? So if I click on uh, password login details and I open it, can you see that? Email, can you see that? And password temptation is bad at you want to see Can you see that? So this is how these guys create password login page to get a pa your password login information and use this information to log into your password account and do any kind of harm to you that transfer your funds or, you know, um, uh, send your phones to, uh, or use your phones to purchase whatever they want to purchase and you are just going to be hacked and as you can see this is quite very very similar to the original part two page right so uh, i'm also giving my own my disclaimer that this video is for educational purpose only right so any misuse of this information i have nothing to do with it this is for informational purpose only right so this is how hackers create fake password login page to extract and collect your password information let's try it one more time so now you get it very well so i can see and gmail.com so let me enter you are four five six bad at two one two or so so you click on login again can you hear that so you click on login again so when you click on login it will just roll over and um as if it's going right so let's check the email again if that actually can you see that password login details when you open it see that build one two three and you are four five six bad at one two right so guys like my video give me a thumbs up thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that i will you know be happy enough to bring this kind of um, information to you always if you need access to this script you can just chat me on whatsapp and i will tell you how you can get this script so thank you once again my name is ajayi adivayo and i will never be silent